Golly, look at that. God, those tires look good. What's up, guys? Just hanging out for a little break here in the old Q50, and I thought I'd make a, a quick video about something pretty freaking awesome. If you guys have been following along or paying attention in the Nissan Infinity community, you will know that recently a 370Z hit over 400 naturally aspirated horsepower. Let's chit chat about this a bit. So everybody probably already knows that Nick at Soho Motorsports has a, a magic touch, I'll say, in tuning the Infinity Nissan platforms. So it shouldn't be any surprise to you that this 400 horsepower 370Z monster was tuned at Soho Motorsports. No, oh, there she is. Recently did a, you know, how do you get to 400 horsepower with the VQ37 video, you know, a few months ago now. So just piggy piggybacking off of that video, uh, we'll dive into this one. Uh, again, this is a scenario where uh, the point is proven that it is no easy feat to get 400 naturally aspirated horsepower out of the VQ37. In addition to break that 300 foot pounds of torque um with the same setup as difficult as horsepower is to pull out of these motors you know in addition to what they can already make from the factory because they are so well dialed in um it's even harder it seems to pull significant torque out of this platform so when you see horsepower numbers of plus 400 wheel and torque numbers of plus 300 uh it piques the interest of a lot of folks so you start to get questions of you know what's it take how easy is it how much does it cost how reliable is it going to be is it worth it um and the answers are varying you know depending on who's asking I want to just break this uh, car down just a little bit here, and I I'm no expert, so I'm just relaying some information. So I'd encourage you, if you want to know further details, check out Soho Motorsports on Instagram or Facebook, or just contact them directly, and I'm sure they can guide you in the right direction if this is something you want to pursue. But like I said, we're piggybacking off the 400 horsepower video I did not too long ago, and in that case, we were kind of looking at uh, Z1 Motorsports 370Z that, it's not their Z, but it's a Z they worked on, that made 376 horsepower to the wheels and I think 299 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, that involved the JWT custom ground cams, uh, E85, I believe, uh, you know, and full bolt-ons in the tune, obviously. Still... Uh, short of 380 horsepower to the wheels and didn't make that 300 foot pounds of torque mark. Now, the numbers are nothing to sneeze at, uh, but it's a significantly uh, expensive project to still come up short of that 400 horsepower number and not break the 300 foot pounds of torque. The Z that we're talking about today, the 2014 370Z, was able to make 314 foot pounds of torque and 403 horsepower to the rear wheels, which is pretty damn awesome i'm sorry i don't know the actual uh, name of the customer the guy who put this car together um maybe someone does leave in the comment section below if you do but check this thing out previously discussed Z out of Z1 Motorsports. Uh, this one in particular is a 2014 370. Uh, it essentially has the same full bolt-on package that that car had, and I believe it shares the same spec cams as well, which is JWT C2 cams. Uh, the difference is that this is on a rebuilt engine with a BC stroker kit, uh, high compression pistons, 13 to 1 compression ratio, I believe. Uh, it has a, a specialty Z flex fuel kit tuned with Ecutech software uh, on E75. It does not have three inch intakes, which some people pointed out as interesting. Uh, so there are some, uh, some variations. Um, you know, this is it's quite a bit different setup, and it achieved some um, significantly different results as well, as you can see. Now, your questions of whether or not this is a practical undertaking have probably already been answered, uh, but we'll we'll just say this. Now, if you are uh, one of those that are capable of rebuilding an engine on your own uh, or swapping cams and things of that nature, then you're probably going to be able to save a crap ton of money. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but if you want this done uh, by a professional, professional shop like Z1 Motorsports or Soho Motorsports, uh, it's probably going to cost you quite a bit of money. So you've got to be ready to fork over the dough. 
I, no, I wouldn't necessarily say most, but a lot of guys are capable and gals are capable of, of you know, doing the typical bolt-ons. You know, a, a real ambitious person with some mechanical aptitude can probably swap headers on a VQ37. Obviously, intakes are simple. Installing an aftermarket exhaust system, not bad at all. But when you start talking about swapping cams and, you know, rebuilds and, you know, stroker kits and flex fuel kit installs, etc., cetera, et cetera, it, it becomes a little more a little more intense and the average do-it-yourselfer might not want to tackle this. So, uh, like I said, if you want to uh, pursue a project like this, anticipate forking over the dough. If you haven't checked out the post from Soho Motorsports on Instagram, I would encourage you to do so, like I said. Uh, but quickly, you will notice some of the comments uh, stating that this is like an $8,000 rebuild, maybe sixteen dollars to $18,000 complete for the project, which is a significant amount of money, which others were very quick to jump on and say, uh, you know, it's the biggest waste of money for this platform, blah, blah, blah. And uh, whether you agree or disagree with that, we all know that the 370Z is a, a quite well-balanced vehicle. It's definitely a driver's car. And it's a lot of fun to drive at the track, even in stock form or just slightly modified form. I mean, just look at this thing. You have the, the VQ growl scream, I, I suppose, revving it out to 8,000 RPM like they are in this car. Here, you have the six speed manual transmission. You have the, the nimble, agile capabilities of this platform. Uh, and then the 400 horsepower and over 300 foot pounds of torque essentially under your right foot. This car would just be a blast to drive on the track, either in a straight line or on a road course or, oh my God, I'd love to take this to the tail of the dragon. This car has got to be a blast. So can you get over 400 horsepower and over 300 foot pounds of torque out of the VQ37 naturally aspirated? Yes, you certainly can. Is it going to cost you a pretty penny? Yes, it will. But is it going to sound good flying around a track? Absolutely, yes. And is it going to be an incredible driving experience? You can bet your ass. I guess you just really have to decide how much money you're willing to throw at this platform in, in order to create one of these incredible driving machines. So shout out to the guy who did this. I wish I knew his name. I wish I knew who it was. I apologize that I don't. Maybe if someone knows it, put it down in the comments section below. Uh, we can give him credit for this uh, really awesome build. And thank you guys uh, at Soho Motorsport, Soho Motorsports. I appreciate you uh, continually sharing uh, some of the projects that you're working on and some of the vehicles that you're involved with. It certainly is an inspiration to all of us who enjoy these platforms. So uh, keep up the good work there, guys. And again, if you have questions for Soho Motorsports, please uh, check out their contact information in the description below. I appreciate all of you guys following along. The uh, continued support has been incredible. Uh, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I can't wait to get there. And some we got some good uh, giveaways to, uh, to, to give away. Uh, to in celebration of that 10k subscriber mark so stick around thank you guys as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one.